close your eyes, keep your mind right here. It's something you can do. You could let it wander around, but the question is what do you gain from it? Occasionally there's serendipity, you run across something that's interesting. But if you keep it here, you learn some skills, the skills of keeping the mind restrained and finding a sense of well-being in the restraint. All too often we hear the word restraint, we think they're being deprived. But actually it's an important part of finding true happiness. As the Buddha said, if there are lesser pleasures that get in the way of bigger pleasures, you should be willing to give up the lesser pleasures for the sake of the bigger ones. And when we show lack of restraint, we're going after the lesser pleasures. And so we think we're getting some happiness out of it, some well-being. But we're totally ignorant of the well-being that we're missing out on. So hold the mind in restraint. Just keep it right here. This is one thing that separates human beings from animals. There are a few animals that can be trained, learn some restraint. But a lot just go by their instincts. And the animals that can be trained, we say, well, they're close to being human. So this is a human characteristic, learning how to hold back. Sometimes you have the power to do something, but you realize that it would be dishonorable, unskillful. So even though you had the chance, you say, no. This so way you build up your sense of healthy shame, your sense of healthy compunction. And these are human qualities. We look out at the world and it seems to be a lot of lack of restraint all over the place. People have the power to do things and get away with it. Well, they get away with it and they'll do it. Without thinking about the long-term consequences. From the point of view of the, the teaching, you have to feel sorry for them. We, though, come to meditate, we've begun to learn this principle that you give up the lesser pleasures and you get greater pleasures, greater happiness, greater well-being in return. So let's keep that in mind. We stick by the precepts, we keep the mind in concentration. And John Mahabhava says it's like having a fence. The precepts are a fence around our words and deeds. Concentration is like a fence around our mind. But being fenced in doesn't mean we're limited. It means that we're focused. We're being fenced away from danger. And so we focus on finding the happiness that can be found inside the fence. And we find that it goes very deep. So we should always remember, even though we have the power sometime to get away with things, it's not worth it. It's better to show that we have some human dignity to us. And the well-being that comes from that is nourishing for a long time.